Hi, people. Um, so, like I say in the last video, like I said in the last video, there was debate on LBC last night regarding um murder of David Amos MP, and one of the things that came up was the influence of social media. Well, um, I don't want to talk on the broader issue so much. I want to talk about uh, a very specific part of that, which is memes and the uh, the use of memes online. Um, I think the internet's inundated with them, and uh, I don't really like them, and this is why. Uh, to put it simply, I think memes are often used as a way to avoid adult debate. Um, I probably should say what a meme is for those who don't know. It's basically a little um, animation. It could be well, it could be animated or it could be uh, a photograph with a little speech bubble. But generally, the little pictures sometimes are moving graphics, but more often they're stationary pictures uh, that are supposed to draw a sort of humorous or satirical point. Um, now. Often they they involve random sort of funny pictures which have a speech bubble that have nothing to do with it. And, and actually some totally innocent people have found themselves a subject of memes that, you know, have nothing to do with them. Um, so they can, actually, they can actually ruin an individual's life. If that person is the subject of the meme simply because they're maybe in a you know, pulling a funny um, face or something, or it's like a unflattering photo. So I think they can ruin lives in that sense, when, you know, total strangers just take up this image, um, and they just, it, it becomes a viral thing on the internet. But I, I've often been in situations where I've tried to engage in adult, adult debate in a comment thread, and then I get a little meme thrown back at me. And, you know, it gets a lot of laughs, and it's cheap, and it, Sometimes they're quite witty, um, but I think that it's just, I think it's just childish. Um, I'll give an example of this. I mentioned in a debate thread, which was to do with the armed forces, that I had some basic training in the Royal Navy, which is true, I did. Now, just to be clear on that, it was basic training. There was nothing, you know, I wasn't accepted in the end, and I have pretty much no service in the sense of, uh, you know, I've never been deployed or anything like that. But I've done some basic training. Anyway, I just mentioned that because it was related to the story. And then, you know, this guy, and I assume he's in the forces, but he just throws out this little name, OK, Popeye, as if I'm boasting about it. And I wasn't. Um, and it was irritating because it's a character attack. Um, I mean, I understand in the military there's this thing about, you know, Walter Mitter characters who pretend to be something that they're not, uh, pretend to have more experience than they're not, but I actually wasn't doing that. So it's kind of irritating when a stranger distorts your your post or your, even worse, your image, I mean, your reputation. And it doesn't really matter, but I just feel that when people throw out memes, it's a way of avoiding adult debate. And I did ask him to back up his claims that I was claiming to be a hardcore veteran. Um, it's irritating because then other people lap it up, especially if the meme's quite witty. It's like, oh, well, let's all laugh at this person. It just, I just think it's childish. I think it can promote cyberbullying on some level. I think it's just childish. Now, I'm not saying that there's never a place for them. Uh, I think it could be probably a powerful tool of satire against totalitarian states um there is a place for it there i mean if it's a way of dissidents having a voice you know um but i often think that it is just used to sort of yeah it's like i don't want to answer your question or i don't want to actually address the subject in an adult mature civil way so i'll just throw out a little meme that's laughing at you or whatever and you know they are what they are they're childish but there's a lot of them i think social media is inundated with them and it's one of the things i dislike about social media that people um they 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 do act different than they, differently than they might in real life and maybe some of the people that behave that way they are 
you know, um, obnoxious in real life as well. And it might well be that if they were in the pub or in a social club or whatever, they would have the same attitude, which is childish and infantile. But um, I think that a social media platform kind of creates more opportunities um, for that. So, you know, if, you, if you're trying to engage in a serious debate and someone just throws out memes, my, my, my attitude is, yeah, well, okay, you've got nothing. You can't actually address the question. Or maybe you can, but you just can't be bothered to. Let me know what you think. Uh, uh, to be clear, I'm not saying that they have no place. I'm not saying that uh, there isn't some satire and, and witticism involved in them. Um, some of them are quite witty, but I just think that they are mostly childish and they're mostly a way of avoiding adult discussion. Um, so for that reason, I don't like them. I think it's kind of... Uh, I, I don't want to say a cardly way out of debate, but I think it's lazy um, and it's infantile. Let me know your thoughts.